Hey guys, here's a pretty cool little fan. This is an Encon Crusader 30 inch fan in polished brass. This is basically Encon's version of the Hampton Bay Minuet. I'm not sure which one came first. I want to say the Hampton Bay did. So I guess you could say Encon kind of copied them. I actually have the motor for the brass one here. So you can, uh, you can see the similarities. Slightly bigger vents on the Minuet and a more distinctive design. So yeah, I got this fan new in box and uh, the previous owner somehow lost the down rod and in shipping smashed the original mushroom globe. Always frustrating because it's harder to find those mushroom globes. Started up on low here. So I robbed the mushroom globe off of one of those heritage huggers I have, the white one. I think I've replaced it since my last video, and I think you guys saw it, so yeah. So low speed is pretty fast for this little guy. <laughs> but I have to be honest, I'm feeling the breeze from it already. As I've said in many videos, I'm a sucker for an Encon. I always like Encons. I just like how unique they are, despite how cheap they are. But I gotta be honest, this one's actually a little better than some of the other ones. Go to medium. Surprisingly quiet for an Encon, too. The bearings were dry from sitting in the box all these years, so um, it does have some scraping noise to it because of the bearings. And there is an ever so slight globe hum coming from it now. And yeah, I'm feeling a pretty decent breeze from it. With the down rod, I'm sure it'd be even better. And we'll go to high. Ever so slight wobble. Yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed. That's a pretty strong little breeze coming from it. For what it is, anyway. If it's better than the Minuet, oh, I don't know. It's really close. I mean, I want to say this does have a stronger breeze, though. Just because it does go a little faster. But then again, my antique brass Minuet, too, may need a new capacitor. Because it's not exactly as fast as my white one. Spin down. The bearing noise is actually pretty quiet. It's not as noticeable as some other fans, but yeah. If I've seen these fans before, I would have long since forgotten. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person. To be honest, I really didn't even know this fan existed until I found it, and curiosity got the best of me. And I bought it. I figured new in box justified the $30 price for it. <laughs> But yeah, it has a really nice look to it. It's like it's like they tried to make it look a little fancier or something. I feel like the uh, motor and the blades are probably from the Encon Petite Hugger. I also have that hanging on my display right now. And yeah, it looks pretty much the same. All right, here's zero to high. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm getting back in the swing of things. Testing out some more fans I have. Swapping out some on the display, and I've already got two different fans I'll be filming here soon. So you guys can look forward to that. So anyway, thank you all for watching, and have a great day.